Hey YouTubers, this is Snob here today. Um, my review for my chair I got from Ikea will be coming next week, so I have more time to review it. And in the meantime, I thought I'd do a video um, for, from a request. Um, this person requested me to do a video um, you know, telling them, guiding them, guiding them through Leopard because they've been using, I think they've been using Windows before and they want to switch to Mac, but they're not really entirely sure about you know, the OS. So I thought I'd do a start a new series altogether called Leopard Tips and Tricks. This is this being episode number one, of course. And I'll be focusing on the dock this week. In this episode. So the dock. The dock is like the start menu in Windows XP or Vista. The dock, you can it's basically uh well like a dock. Like uh, you know, one of those things you see in the you know ports and everything in the harbors. Um it's basically a glass panel here. You can drag things in and out of it. Um and you see these spacers here, I'll tell you how to get those later. You can rearrange things, you can move things around, whatever you feel. Um, you can even customize the dock with specific backgrounds, overlays, shadows, colors, whatever. You can use some um, special third-party software. Um, uh, I'll probably post a few links to it, um, a few, you know, I'll tell you what it, uh, a few of the softwares you can use. So um, one way to do it so you don't screw up your dock is called dock spacers. These are these little uh, gaps in the dock. You can drag these around and delete them in a puff of smoke, whatever you feel like. So I'm, what, uh, if I delete one of these by action, I want it back, what do I do? Now first you go here, type in dock spacers, and go to here. Now I take this code, copy it, Turn on, lap, uh, turn on terminal and paste it. Then press enter. Now wait a minute, uh, wait a few moments. Um, then type in kill all doc. And now space should appear. Um, as you can see, a space appeared here. So yeah, um, now I can drag. This is basically just an application, but without the icon or um, a source. You can drag things. You know, you can drag it back. You can. Move it around, delete it, making combine two to make a bigger one, or three of them make a bigger one. Your choice. If you want to delete it, just you know, drag it out and let it go in a public smoke. Let me close that. Okay, so that's doc spacers. Now another thing I use a lot is keyboard shortcuts or or R keyboard shortcuts. Um, for example, command let me just get a new tab here. Command T for new tab, command W to close things. Command Q to quit. Command S to save. Command P to print. It's really easy to remember. Command T for tab. T for tab. W for close window. Um, Q for quit. S for save. P for printer. Command C for copy. Command V for paste. Um, and one more. One more. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, one more is option command escape. And it'll give you your force quit applications. You can, you know, this is basically like Windows Task Manager on uh, Windows. You can, you know, force quit things, you can relaunch things, especially naming the Finder. You can relaunch it if it starts acting buggy. So yeah, it's really useful, and I find myself using it almost every day. So that's it. That's the doc episode of Leopard Tips and Tricks. Hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any more requests for things you want me to, you know go deeper into um please send me a pm um you know my email whatever um just go to my channel check it out thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys next time bye